Beds are primarily the Beaverton area and we are here in Bethany Village today to interview a local florist who is going to help us learn about how incorporating flowers and plants into a house for sale for staging helps buyers develop an emotional connection to the space and also how it can bring some life and some energy that you want into your home. So here we are outside of Bloom and Flair here in beautiful Bethany Village. She has these amazing plants out front. We're going to go and just talk with her about the, the community and how she includes flowers and plants into staging for our buyer, so here we're going in. This is Samantha, the face behind Bloom and Fleur. Hello. <laughs> and, her and your husband, right? Yeah, this is my husband, I'm Josh. just here for moral support. Yeah, this <laughs> is important, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy that we were able to get together today and talk about your business and how it's affected the community out here in Bethany. Mm -hmm. Just want to start and introduce yourself. You know, what yeah. your what's your business about? We opened in uh, almost exactly two years ago in 2019 in this little tiny store, but I actually did floral work from my home, so it's considered a studio florist. We opened this little tiny micro shop in 2019, so we were excited to bring into the area, which is always the trend is plants. But the idea was to do more floral design and such, so the neighborhood definitely seemed to have needed it, so it's been a really good start. Oh yeah, a step up from the Safeway $9 flowers for sale. Totally. <laughs> and you have such a beautiful space. I mean, you've just created this oasis and all these smells, and I know that the community loves that, so. Yeah. What about your business makes it different from some of the other floral companies out here in Portland? Yeah, thank you. That's a good question. I feel like the, the biggest thing for us is when you walk in that you feel this overwhelmingness of, of being welcome and that you're with nature. There's no judgment. There's no you have to spend money. There's no any of that. It's just being. Um, I feel like especially the pandemic, it's been really hard on people. And I feel like a lot of us look towards nature more and more. So I almost feel like it was like really good timing to kind of roll in in 2019. We all didn't see 2020 coming in that way. Yeah. But it's really nice to build those regulars that we've had too. Oh yeah. yeah. And especially just having a sense of community again. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. with being in our homes all the time and being discouraged from being with other people. Yeah. It's just nice to have a space where you feel like you're welcome. And, and how like, lucky are we to have that? It's so crazy just being with you in person, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's like how that was so taboo just a couple months ago and now masks are, you know, relatively off depending on um, yeah. the, the state, but mm -hmm. you know, yeah, it's totally. just. This is not a Zoom meeting. It's, great. it's not a Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so different from the corporate world, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. You mentioned like you wanted to expand a little bit too, mm -hmm. and you're opening up a store right over here, right? Yeah. So this store is very small. It's, it's super cute. My heart is like so like oh, it's my baby. Um, but it was time, especially with COVID, it was really hard to have only one at a time or you'd have a line around the block, you know, and it's just like, it's just not sustainable for our customers and for the team. Um, so an opportunity came up in April where they have a space that's four times the size. So, um, it was just a very organic next step that we needed to do. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We have a flower club that's really popular too, and it's the Bloom and Floor uh, Flower Club or BFF Club. Um, so you get a certain amount of bouquets, and you get a huge discount on flowers, gifts, plants, candles, and then we also do special perks too for Small Business Saturdays. Sometimes like, hey, just kidding, BFF Club members get this percentage off, um, and also with workshops too. So it's been a really it kind of helps with that whole community um, feel. And then also, we're also supporting other small businesses with those discounts. So it just kind of like, it keeps that flow going. Was that kind of started in the beginning of? Yeah. Okay. It was weird. I was watching Queer Eye for the straight guy, like the new one. And I was at home alone. My husband was probably back in uh, San Jose for work. And I was drinking some rosé, and I was like, BFFs, not BFFs. I love Jonathan. And then I was like, BFF Club, flower, bloom, and flower, flower club. And then that's where it. Was. Inspiration. I know. Bah! Rosé is amazing like that. Um, rosé all day, right? Yeah, totally, all day. <laughs> um, so that's where that came. And so as soon as we opened, I just pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. And it's been really fantastic. 
because it's like a subscription right and like who mm -hmm. doesn't want new flowers every mm -hmm. week and we've had people still in the club since we first opened wow yeah Pretty cool. talk about supporters i know <laughs> ah! i know flowers are amazing so bringing it into real estate a little bit yeah. i know you kind of work with stagers mm -hmm. and things like that yeah. being an agent and seeing mm -hmm. it from the buyer's side when buyers would go into a house they oftentimes are greeted with things that are a little too personal mm -hmm. like pictures of your family mm -hmm. or a mm -hmm. room that has like taxidermy mm -hmm. and that's not always <laughs> what people want to like, see oh, little meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> like freak out moment totally. so it's like how can we create personal touches mm -hmm. in the space but not have it be off-putting to people coming in the best advice i can give for that is Okay, you're moving, you probably don't have a lot of aces. Sure, maybe you have one that you yeah. can bring in. Bring it into your local florist or Bloom and Floor preferred. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> honestly. And then we were happy to design um, that floral arrangement for you. I would suggest whatever season you're selling in, stick to that season. Because you want your buyer to think of, you know, this is what summer will feel like. This is what Christmas will feel like. This may feel like, you know, yeah. different vibes, different wintry vibes or summer vibes. Um, and we're very happy to design those for our customers and our, you know, definitely our real estate friends. Um, but just show us a picture of the room, <clears throat> the height you need, and we're happy to help. So, cool. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was talking with a seller recently and I was just explaining how it can like having flowers even in your staging photos mm -hmm. can show people the size of a room like for plants and things like that too totally yeah because sometimes you look online and then you get in and it's like oh i can't mm -hmm. i can't fit in this room <laughs> so it is kind of nice to see like how big a space is yeah. too all right mm -hmm. so the next question we have is about some of the places you partner with to mm -hmm. you know get the flowers and the plants that you have mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, totally. So there's a huge wholesale market in Portland. And on top of that, there, in that wholesale flower market, there is also a middle market, which has a lot of local growers. And I've gr grown to have relationships with them actually because of COVID, because everything was so scary, that I will do promotions. For instance, there's a, my, one of my favorite flower growers. She's out of Tigard. Um, called Zush and she grows the best double white tulips that look like peonies and they smell like spring and I, I mean we flush through those so fast because it's just you know it's that story that you get and then you know that it was just down the street and it's just I don't know there's something special and unique yeah. um, so I try to work with local but I also do um, order import flowers too and especially for weddings um, as for our gifts too, I would say most of like, if not 90% of them, maybe even 95% is all small businesses from around the country. And a lot of woman owned businesses as I look around, it's a lot of woman owned businesses. And that wasn't intentional, but it just kind of blend with the brand. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty great too at the same time, cause you know how Portland is so local, 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 local. And then you may go to a store and you see the same stuff and the same stuff, but why not make an economy that helps all of us, that we can all contribute and be a part of. And then you're also looking for more unique items that you won't find anywhere else. Cause yeah, you are mentioning too, we talked earlier about some of the businesses internationally that would not mm -hmm. even be able to be around if people didn't support them. Yep, it, w it would change everything. It would be devastating. Yeah. yeah, totally. So, and it's great to be local, 100%. That's a Portland way of being, I totally get it. But at the same time, you know, I'm helping someone in New York City that could be helping someone in California. It's just like, that's the, the unity that we need. And, and the backbone of America is small businesses. Yeah. So, and it creeps, keeps those jobs going, you know, and the art, don't lose the art. The, you know, art. the art cannot go away. <laughs> yes. Pandemic or not. So, yeah. And I feel like there's like a bit of local here for sure. And I find some specialty or someone who's just starting out and they hit that mark for my brand. I'm very happy to bring them in too. So final question. What is your advice for keeping your flowers fresh? Absolutely. Clean water. Just clean water. Keep that water clean and cool. There are flower food packets that you get. Those are yeah. great. They have a lot of preservatives, which is, you know, science says yes. <laughs> There's sugar too, which can be good. Not all flowers are into that. Really? So just keep your flowers cool 
out of sunlight and cut them every two to three days, just a little and you're good. When you cut your flower, it, it removes a scab, so it's able to drink more, and so it'll last longer. And we actually get a lot of people, like our flower club members have a hard time picking up their flowers all the time because their flowers last too long. They last too long. I know, it's That's awful. a good problem to have, though. <laughs> Mine only lasts a week, and then I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I have to throw these out. I mean, we get busy, right? Yeah. And that's just hard, but yeah, just that little bit of just clean water, because bacteria is the biggest thing. So okay. yeah, and then they think that's why those flower packets exist, because of sugar and those preservatives, but just cool, clean water every two to three days. Okay. Yeah. Totally, and it's amazing, so. Well, I'll try that myself too, yeah, because. Yeah, just an experiment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, great, thank you yeah. so much thank again you. for letting us come in and, and talk with you mm -hmm. and learn about your business. All right, well, all the viewers out there, yeah. looking to maybe partner, mm -hmm. Bloom and Fleur here in Bethany. Samantha yeah. King, Bloom and Fleur, feel free to stop in and check her out online. What's your website? Uh, Bloomandfloordesigns.com. Perfect, and we'll link it down below too. Yeah. Um, all right. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>